Hi, it's Sin. Welcome to the Pre-Patch Podcast. You maybe want to check out the patch notes since you guys aren't here live watching it or, I don't know, downloading our stuff or listening to us everywhere. I mean, one of the best podcasts on the freaking internet, for God's sake. Is that good? If you're new to the show, we kick off every single episode with uh, Twitch and YouTube news. And uh, this week, um, it's no different. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna meld the two together. We're gonna do something we don't okay. normally do. We're gonna meld what we're playing with Twitch and YouTube news because they <laughs> kind of they kind of involve each other. Um, a little bit this this week. And if you're unfamiliar with what we're talking about. It's the cancel culture idea behind uh, the Harry Potter wizarding, you know, Hogwarts legacy, uh, J.K. Rowling stuff um, that's going on. And the, the drama that is happening across both platforms, so it's probably one of the first times both platforms are actually um, in the same boat, um, is creators are basically getting berated, uh, trolled, trashed on, um, canceled, you name it. Like, you know, called everything from, from being called a bigot uh to being transphobic to you know everything anti-semitic a little bit too i've seen uh, not as yeah. much as yeah but yeah. no it's I've, all it's all prevalent you know and all of that and uh if so if you're playing hogwarts legacy you basically are in a a world of where you possibly are gonna you know have this happen um you know to I, be I fair this is really a world that's only affecting content creators and stuff like that yeah oh uh, yeah. well i mean I, I, I think. It's I mean, nobody's gonna break unless, into your house, unless, kick down the door as soon as you install Hogwarts Legacy, and berate no, you for your purchase. You take, um, I did slap my wife. Twitter, um, because there has been some stuff just with you know just people talking on Twitter, uh, and that's just Twitter, you know, to be expected. But you know, it's never it's go full Twitter. Days. No, yeah, yeah. Words but, to live by. The the crazier thing about all of this is just the fact that people are taking it this far. Like I, I understand, you know, J.K. Rowling, like disagree whatever else the statements that she's made or whatever. Like yes, obviously this is built into the Hogwarts, uh, kind of, um, you know, uh, it, you know, lore and 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 the world and all world. Of it. And yeah. I'm sure that she, yes, she does get a royalty from this, right? Like there's there's no yeah, way she 100 does. Yeah. She's not getting a royalty from it. I it's she she owns she owns the uh the rights to wizarding world which is the entire ip for hogwarts so she of course she's going to get a royalty off of it 100 percent. but the thing about this is and I, I guess well here's my question I, I my feeling on this is that i feel you are doing way more harm to a, a studio that is literally built from the ground up for this game right they are you know port key studios is the is that is, that is this it's not jk rowling studios Orky Studios, they they put their love, blood, sweat, and tears into this game for ten years. Um, you are doing way more harm to a lot more people than what J.K. Rowling is going to see off of this. In, in whatever. Yeah. So I, I don't. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are, but like, don't don't fuck with the developer. Oh, my 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 biggest they thing is they have put a lot of love into this game. You can yeah. see it. I mean, it's my it's, my my biggest thing is is like Angry Joe from the Joe Vargas from the Angry Joe show. I think said it. Perfectly. I was I was skimming through Twitter and, and all this this crap from like games up and, and everything like that. Um but uh one of one of the one of the Twitter's Twitter sphere games reviews I uh, said that Hogwarts Legacy does not deserve to be reviewed on its own merits and such. And he was like, This is ridiculous. You're gonna damn hundreds of devs who made game the, the game and millions of Potter fans is happy because of the sins of the mother type crap. They even right. added a non binary option and you meet a trans character in it. I doubt they agree with anything that the original author on everything stop encouraging this harassment. And I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Like that's exactly what I've been, what I've been trying to reiterate and what I've been trying what I've talked to you guys about in the past. Like she has such a small position in this game that it's, it's not, it's, it's not even yeah. worth mentioning again. The only thing, the only, the only thing that, she, yeah, the only that's thing it. that she has anything to do with this game is that she was the original creator of the world. She was the original yeah. creator of Harry Potter, right? Which, I mean, good on her. She she made a world that hundreds upon hundreds upon thousands have enjoyed millions, since millions. the books originally. Oh, yeah. Probably millions. More than yeah, likely oh, millions. Yeah. yeah. That have they've enjoyed since they were children, right? Like, I enjoy, I read the books originally when I was, like, 12, right? And the, and Harry Potter, the first one, orig the original one, was the one, the one book that my parents could actually get me as a child to read. I hated reading. And that, that one book pushed me into, I read, I read books on a weekly basis now, right? Like it's, it's uh it's one of those things where 
you can't take away what she's done. Obviously, her comments probably not the best, but you know, again, there's she has nothing to do with the game. Why are why are you damning an entire franchise and an, an entire development team for what one person said? Well, like Bill makes said no sense in, in chat too. Is you can create a trans character, like your yeah. character, and that's that's trans. yeah. Not like, not only you can create a trans trans character, but you actually meet one. They act like everybody else. They they it's it's one of those things where it's like i don't understand the outcry but yeah uh, well the other thing that blows my mind about this is that you know um as a you know uh so there's the, there's obviously the trans uh you know um side of it and then there's also the anti-semitic side of it which uh if you're you know new to our show i am uh jewish you know uh you know and um uh, it, it like i i don't see, like I look at it and I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, I get it. Like, uh, okay, I see. I see the point that you're making. Like, yes, these these trolls or the goblins uh, resemble X Y Z. But like, are you gonna now go back to every? Because if I go back to D and D, if I go back to another game that we played uh, that we're gonna talk about in, later on in the show, those goblins look like troll. Or those goblins could be said like, oh, well, that that isn't that isn't designed off of you know Jewish uh, stereotypes. Like, I, yeah. I don't. I think it's ridiculous. And on top of that, I don't. Like you see, you hear rumblings of stuff when it comes to Disney, but Walt Disney is openly like was openly anti-Semitic, like openly. Yeah, he, he had he had members he had members of Hitler's inner circle in the parks at West. And the nobody like there's a small. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna say that nobody boycotts them because there is a group that does uh, this, but nowhere to the extent of what this is. I don't see it when Marvel movies come know. out. I don't see it whenever Frozen happens or any of these Disney movies go, go on. Like I. My my big I think my biggest thing is just the harassment that I was gonna say streamers have seen. There, there's a point it, of there's like, absolutely no something reason. if yeah. it's your personal belief that you have that right, but you don't have the right to go to others and harass them for what they want to do and what they choose to do with their money or time. Like that's absolutely the, yeah. It's it's you you can you can silently protest on your own one yeah. way or the other with this game, whether you want to give it your money or not, but the stuff that's come out like specifically with the website where you can track people that have played the game, which is now down because it was causing it was a, a lot harass- of it was harassment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was put up with <laughs> malicious intent. You know, 100%. Like hate yeah. raids were a thing last year for a different reason. This is yeah. effectively hate raiding again, yeah, yeah. just and for, a with a different goal. agenda. From what we've seen, they they took their time to make an actual website. Man, they could have took their time and done something good with it, you know. Yeah. Instead, speaking of doing me. good with it, um, the the biggest one that I saw get brought down and like the probably the first one that got like heavily targeted was girlfriend reviews. Yeah, they yeah. were the going they, and they posted on Twitter the day before that they were going to be doing a charity live stream to review the game. They were given a free copy of the game to um, give their opinions on. So they were going to do a live stream of it. And it was going, like I said, they didn't pay for the game. And any donations that happened during that live stream were going to go to an LGBT uh, charity. I can't remember. I think it's the Trevor Fund. No. Yeah. Um, and they got hate rated off of their stream, basically. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Man. Because because the community wanted them to just disregard the game it, entirely. It just, it just makes it just makes no sense to me, dude. Like I I understand if if you're angry at her for her comments, that's entirely on you. Like take that up with her. This this specific intention or the the intention behind this these specific hate raids is unwarranted. There is no reason why you need to be going to people both on Twitch or YouTube or wherever you're doing it. There's no reason why you need to be berating them for their opinions. There is no reason why you need to be berating them for their purchases. It's, it's just, it's, it's fucking it's, baffles thought, me, man. Yeah. I mean, it's, it it's baffles me. Absolutely. absolutely baffles me. Well, there was one uh, incident that happened. I think it was in Wisconsin, if I'm not mistaken, where they uh, stood outside of uh like GameStop or Best Buy or one of the, the stores. And as people were purchasing the game um, or coming to pick up their game, they were 
you know, berating him. And one of them actually ended That's up crazy, into, uh, started, got into a physical altercation. Yeah. Um, and uh, the dude ended up in the hospital. Uh, over that's like, insane to me, dude. I don't I imagine that's I mean, that's like that's like that's like 80s and 70s and 80s. Um, like you remember in the 70s and 80s when you had uh the biker gangs and they were going and like fleecing people, even 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 further back in this in the 20s, 30s, and 40s and 50s, right? When you had the uh the the mafia doing the same exact thing, that is incra- that is crazy to me that we are back to that kind of yeah. treatment what I, what, I, what I don't understand either too is like do they not do they not see especially when you're when you're talking about going in and and uh you know into a stream and, and trying to silence it that way like you're literally becoming the thing that you hate like you're literally yeah, it's, it, yeah. fighting hate with hate and yeah, that it, it just makes no fight. sense to me on, on 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 the vi- on on the other side of things as well i think that Oh, and and me and me and uh, Bill were talking about this. We were having a conversation about this. You know, like if if you're purposefully going out to buy the game, just to spite these these uh these people that are, are going in and saying that people are transphobic for buying them, and then on top of that, you're going into these these forums like the the Twitch or YouTube or anything like that, and you're, you know, boasting the fact that you purchased six of the copies to support this. I don't you're condone that either. Yeah, you're yeah. you're just as big of an asshole as the people that are going in there and flambas- you know, flaming people for for purchasing it, right? Like yeah. you're all all you're doing is just infl- in, inflammatory, and you know, you're just inflaming the situation even well, more. The, the other you know? side I don't understand about that is I'm like, hold on a second. Let, let's 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 really like if you know me, I love breaking things down to black and white. Let's let's break this down to black and white. So you don't want people playing playing the game because you don't want to support J.K. Rowling, but you just bought six copies of the game, which is directly going to support jk rowling well no no this this is no 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 no. the opposite this is this is the opposite end yeah these are the people that are like fuck you i don't care i'm gonna buy it anyway well these are the people that support jk rowling yeah these Uh, i i I wouldn't say that they're supporting jk rowling but well there's another side that i heard that i I thought bill brought up that the people who are supporting jk rowling and her beliefs of these transphobic beliefs are are buying copies to support her. i don't doubt it yeah no i I don't doubt that i'm sure but i also know that the that which is also yes that is completely stupid yeah that's also that's also on the other side of the the coin is people that are against them against her are doing the same thing so people can't play the game which that's where i'm like (laughs) what are you like you're, Wait, you're what the fuck? Like, I, I I guess they're they're thinking they're thinking they can purchase the like they can out purchase the the yeah, supply no like supply I, man yeah I guess. But, but it's digital they yeah, like everything know, is man. digital you're not you're not gonna run out of digital keys those, those must be the boomers that, there, you know you know that there's some there's some idiot on both sides on Steam going when are they gonna say, 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 say sold out when is it gonna say sold out I keep buying it just keep oh coming. my goodness. <laughs> So. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch our podcast every other Thursday night at 1030 Eastern Standard Time. Also, you can find us on anchor.fm forward slash prepatch podcast. We hope to catch you on the next one. Deuces.